that Billy Ray Cyrus got so drunk and turnt this weekend and played his guitar so loud. I wonder if he sang, don't tell my heart, my icky bricky heart, because his divorce from Fire Rose was finalized this past Friday. Yes, ma'am. So that is a reason to celebrate. Billy Ray, you got away from that mess. <laughs> In my opinion, that mess. It is done, finalized, over, O-V, Goodbye, Fire Rose. Y'all, I got the latest. Are you ready? By the way, I just got to say, hey, hey, welcome. If you're new here, welcome back. If you're not, I hope you subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell located beside subscribe. Make sure it's highlighted to all. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload. Now let's get into it. Okay, as previously reported after the recorded audio that Amber Heard 2.0, a.k.a. Fire Rose, whatever she wants to go by. I'm over here like, child, Fire Rose, this sound, is this your stripper name? Like, what are we doing here? But anyway, we all know this was a ridiculous situation from the jump. When I heard they was getting married, I was like, do what now? Do what? Uh-uh. What is going on here? This girl is really trying to further her career. Well, child. <laughs> oh, Amber Heard 2.0 has came on through with her recorded audio of him, Billy Ray, just slurring vulgarities at her. And I'm like, well, girl, what did you do? What did you do? Yeah, I said what I said. It's people like Amber Heard that give real domestic violence victims a bad rip. That's what makes them feel ridiculous when they say anything, in my opinion. Because we all know if you're in an abusive situation, you can't grab your phone and record, let alone have the recording still there, not deleted and your phone broke. To be able to leak it, sell it. Because in my opinion, that's what these people do. They sell this stuff to these media outlets like TMZ. But anyway, TMZ got a hold of it and blasted it. Y'all, we talked about it over here. Thank God Billy Ray done ran. Chai, he ran. Okay, he said, don't tell my heart. My icky, bricky heart. Uh-uh, that's what he's saying. For real, his word's not mine. But anyway, look, the divorce is final. Already. Yeah, that was quick. <laughs> that was real. Billy Ray said, I ain't got time to be sitting here in court and dragging this out. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, let's just get into this article, y'all. Country music legend Billy Ray Cyrus shares strange video after divorce finalized. Now, I don't know about the strange video because, look, I'm going to go ahead and be honest. Okay, my mama, when I was growing up, was the biggest Billy Ray Cyrus fan. Actually, that is a lie. She was not the biggest. Her aunt was the biggest Billy Ray Cyrus fan that I've ever met in my life. My great aunt would go to concerts and give Billy Ray Cyrus real gold necklaces. He would take them and put them on. Okay. This lady, my great aunt. I don't know if she was a legit president of the Billy Ray fan club back in the day in the 80s, but child, she should have been because, let me tell you something, but anyway, she dragged my mama into a lot of concerts, and my mama was a witness to all these extravagant gift givings that my great aunt gave Billy Ray Cyrus back in the 80s. <laughs> I will tell y'all something. I will tell y'all something. I believe I went to I went to a lot of concerts in my day because that was how I grew up. Okay, my mama and my daddy loved some concerts. Okay, so I grew up going to concerts. I think I did go to a Billy Ray concert with my mama. I'm pretty sure I did. But let me tell y'all something. Billy Ray was a household name in my home growing up. <laughs> so Yes, I keep up with the Billy Ray Cyrus news. And when I seen all this news, I'm like, we got to talk about this, okay? Billy Ray and Fire Rose have finalized their divorce just months after Cyrus filed to end their seven-month marriage. But back to what I was saying, because I get like that, <laughs> okay? I will forget what I was going on, and I'll go down another street, and I'll be like, squirrel, that's where I was at. 
call it ADHD, call it whatever you want. That's just who I am. But anyway, what I was saying, they was talking about the weird video, and then I got off saying that I grew up, you know, with Billy Ray. Okay, look. Billy Ray, in the past, I would say decade or two, has become very strange, okay? To me, in my opinion, I don't know if it's the midlife crisis he was going through or is going through. I don't know, but he is very different than he was back in the 80s. And yes, we all are. <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying. If you have been following Billy Ray Cyrus since the achy breaky heart days, or some gay ball, hey, there's you a throwback. You know what I'm talking about. Billy Ray has changed. I don't know if you call it for the better, for the worse, but he has changed dramatically. When Old Town Road come out, I about fell out. I was like, wait a minute now. What is going on? I don't know if a lot of these artists and singers like let their management and their team get in their head and switch their sound around, but it, uh-uh. Take us back to the good old days. Take us back to the good old days. That Me and Donnie, this is why we only listen to older music, like older country, older rock. That is our jam. That is our go-to. I don't know what it is. Might be just us, but let me know in the comments below. This new music nowadays seems a little off to us. I mean, what do y'all think? I'm like, bring back the sound of the 70s and 80s and early 90s because i'm gonna tell y'all something okay the beats and the the electronics of it all the technology of it all is taking over we're losing like the live band feel i'm all about that don't get me started on music which we did lord have mercy we are six minutes in and we're not even to the second paragraph i'm sorry but if you're still here thank you <laughs> my people my people, I appreciate you for not judging me for being all over the place and unprofessional. A lot of people will judge people for being unprofessional. I'm like, well, I never claimed to be or professional to begin with. Okay, I'm a professional unprofessional. Get it right. Back to the article. The 62-year-old singer filed for divorce in May after marrying 37-year-old Fire Rose. Well, Lord, I thought she was like 27. My bad. In Nashville on October 10th, according to documents. Cyrus cited inappropriate marital conduct and irreconcilable, you know, that big long word, that big long word, irreconcilable differences as the reason for their separation. The documents also reveal that Cyrus is asking for an annulment on the grounds of fraud. Lord child, he said, bye girl, you a fraud. On August 5th, a statement shared by Cyrus's lawyers confirmed their divorce was finalized this past Friday. Like, child, just this past Friday, the parties reached a settlement agreement at mediation. Lord, I wonder how much Billy Ray had to pay her. I bet it was a lot to dissolve their seven-month marriage, and the court declared the parties divorced this morning. Mr. Cyrus is relieved to put this nightmare behind him. <laughs> Charlie called that a nightmare. The statement also included a direct qu quote for Cyrus, who said he is relieved and breathing a sigh of relief knowing his marriage is officially over. This has been absolutely the most crazy, insane scam I've ever heard of, let alone the fact I'm right in the center and basically the target of the scheme. It's unfortunate. It played out this way. It was a matter of the heart. Love is blind, that's for sure. This latest development has come after. It was reported that Fire Rose, whose legal name is Joanna Rosie Hodges, shared a recording of one of their verbal arguments while they was married. Cyrus addressed the record via a statement. The, the record, the, the video released, the, the recording via a statement shared by his lawyers. On behalf of our client, Billy Ray Cyrus, we wish to respond to Miss Hodges' recent release to the press in an apparent last-ditch effort to squeeze money out of Mr. Cyrus ahead of our court-ordered mediation scheduled for next week, the statement began. 
As we previously stated and released back in June, we regret that Ms. Hodges has chosen to litigate this seven-month marriage in the press and has left Mr. Cyrus Mr. Cyrus with no recourse but to set the record straight once again. Mr. Cyrus previously admitted in a court filing that he had been very vocally frustrated and angry with Ms. Hodges during their seven-month marriage as he began to uncover more and more of Ms. Hodges' true motives for marrying him. See, I told y'all she was trying to get her music career up and going. Cyrus took to his Instagram story as well to share as as well to share a personal statement about the vulgar recording stating, "Yeah, I was at my wits end as every day went by. I started realizing something was wrong. I saw before my very own eyes everything I thought I knew about her was a lie. She was trying to take over my career, my life, and usurp the Cyrus name for her own gain. See you in court. Fire Rose continues to go by the name Fire Rose Cyrus on social media. <laughs> How ridiculous. On August 5th, the musician took to Instagram to share a story saying the best is yet to come as the song Burn the Ships by King and Country played in the background. Step into a new day, the lyrics read, we can rise up from the dust and walk away. On August 6th, Cyrus took to Instagram to share a video with a caption that read, a bad thing happened here, but we corrected it. Truth prevails. In the comment section, fans encouraged Cyrus to put the phone down and attempt, attempt to heal. It is so funny how some people will comment and tell people, well, maybe you need a break. Maybe you need to put the phone down. Child, maybe they just responded to the BS. If it bothers you, then maybe you need to put the phone down or go to somebody else that don't bother you. Woo! I said what I said. Now, I will say this. Billy Ray and Fire Rose are both working on new music and both actively promoting their new music. It's like a race to the Billboard charts at this point. <laughs> Team Billy Ray. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Slow news day. What could I say? What could I say? Anyway, would love to know what y'all are thinking. Meet me in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you so much for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.